reading Luke's account, Luke chapter 1, verse 26, the account of the angelic visitor announcing the birth of the Son of God. Luke 1, 26. Now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the descendants of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of salutation this was. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great, and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. And for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, and she who was called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing will be impossible with God. And Mary said, Behold, the bond slave of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. And then verse 46. And Mary said, My soul exalts the Lord, and my spirit has rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has had regard for the humble state of his bondslave. For behold, from this time on all generations will count me blessed. For the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is upon generation after generation toward those who fear him. He has done mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who were proud in the thoughts of their heart. He has brought down rulers from their thrones and has exalted those who were humble. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent away the rich empty-handed. He has given help to Israel, his servant, in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his descendants forever. Let's bow in prayer. Our Father, we join Mary in offering our worship to you. Like her, our souls exalt you. Our spirits rejoice in you, our God and our Savior. For you have regarded our sinful condition. And you have poured out salvation blessing mercy upon generation after generation toward those who fear you. You have lifted up your people, your humble people, and you have brought down rulers from their thrones. You have sent away the rich empty-handed and filled the hungry with good things. Because you are a God of mercy, and you have all spiritual blessings in the heavenlies, to offer your redeemed people. And you give lavishly out of the abundance of your grace. And so as we think about the birth of the Son of God coming into the world as a babe, we know that this monumental event in human history, unparalleled, unequaled, signaled the beginning of redemption's work and thus do we celebrate it. We focus at this time of year on Christ, as we should all the time, but particularly at this time of year, on the glory of that birth which brought us a Redeemer, a Savior, a life giver, a friend and an eternal king. 
We have come together today for the purpose of giving honor and glory to Him and to the Spirit by which He did His work and to you, blessed Father, for sending Him for our eternal benefit and your glory. Receive our worship and praise as we offer it in His great name. 